And then obviously we've got this obesity and metabolic health epidemic that we're dealing with. So at a high level, what's your general take on why people can't better regulate their energy intake and their food habits unaided? What is what is actually driving all of the overeating and obesity from your perspective? And I understand there's probably, you know, you're not going to have the answer, but you probably do have some perspective on this. I have an answer. It's, it's, it's not it's not the only answer. So yeah. so if we look at so we know of over um, a thousand genes, a thousand low side to be fair. Mm-hmm. But anyway, we know of over a thousand genes that play some role in influencing our feeding behavior and hence our body weight. All right. Now they sit in multiple different pathways and do multiple different things. Mm-hmm. But I'll so I'll just give you two examples. Okay. So for your brain needs to know. I think we've, we've I've, I've, this is, I'm repeating myself here, but your brain needs to know long and short term energy stores, right, in order to influence your food intake. And some of these genes sit within the pathways that sense these long and short term energy signals. And put simply, and I'm and I'm being slightly facetious here, particularly if you're experts in 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 your in the listeners out there. But in effect, because these brains are less, because these some people have brains that are less sensitive to leptin less sensitive to GLP-1, less sensitive to any of these signals, they are likely to underestimate how much they have actually eaten or how much fat that they're carrying and therefore make them eat more. So in in, in very in, in simple terms, it's like a thermostat, okay? And I think there are many other pathways. But ultimately, what happens is what these genes do in totem is change your drive towards food. Now, this could be reward pathways, hunger, fullness, the full gamish, all right? But some people are going to be more driven towards food than others. And so given the environment that we're living in, okay, if when you go put gas, when you go buy a, a Tylenol from the, from, from, from the drugstore, and suddenly there's a chocolate bar in front of you, some of us will say, and wonder buy the chocolate bar. Other people go, ooh, chocolate. And, and, and eat the chocolate, okay? Like you're, you're saying that if there's food in your closet, uh, not closet, if you're food in your cupboard, then you're more likely to eat it than if it's not there. Same same for me, right? And so that is that tunability, the gene set that drive for food and, and there are multiple mechanisms and it's complex, but ultimately it sets the drive for food where some people find it more difficult to say no than others. That is what is happening 